Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. If you are new here, my name is Pedro and in today's video, I bring you another home in the Halloween spirit. Actually, it's just a renovation today. It doesn't have the pumpkins, Halloween spirit, but it is in Glimmerbrook and we are helping out some of our NPCs we can find in Glimmerbrook. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Glimmerbrook. Before we jump into the home today, I really appreciate it if you leave a like in the end of the video or subscribe to the channel to have more content like this uh, because that will help out the channel to grow and I really, really appreciate that. But the house we are talking today is the Charm Family Home. Uh, we're gonna see the before and then we're gonna jump into the after. Uh, today we are using just Realm of Magic and the base game and see all the potential can be done here. So without further ado, let's dive into the before of this home. And here we are in this home. In the first glance, I will say this is pretty ugly. It's so ugly. It's like, we can see house before in this channel ugly, but they did a very poor job in Glimmerbrook. And it had so much potential, they have so much good items, and oh my god, look at this. This is trash, this is bad. I don't want to be completely mean, but it looks so bad. It's so boxy, and you have like, spread windows uh, very low windows with very tall walls here we have a balcony to the back it's so sad the colors don't match the design is it's bad it's, it's so bad i i can i cannot express how much disappointing this home is it's it's horrible it's so sad. So if we dive into it, we see a couple of new items. They try to almost showcase like different windows, different doors, arrangements, the the frieze of there with different columns. I don't know. This looks like a showcase. It looks like they use this in a stream instead of like a house in the game just to showcase items. And let's go inside. So inside we have a stairs upstairs. We have a very big chandelier. And here we have a kind of study area. I will say the archers are beautiful. The items are really beautiful. I just think they didn't know how to use them properly. I have no idea who made this. I so disappointing. So here we have a half bathroom with this sink and toilet. Very ugly sink came in with this uh, pack. Some people will like it, maybe. Some people don't. So can you see this? It's so empty. It's like a full corridor. So empty. Why you make so ha big houses if you don't have how to fill them up? Uh, and then we have a kind of mistake here don't know what's going on because they use different fences even there different fences uh did they did the same here they didn't you see i i don't know looks like this was like rushed to be done then here we have no fence so i have no idea what was the objective of this we have another door here so we go through this door now uh here we have a kitchen very poor kitchen oh, it's so it's not ugly it's just like empty and poorly decorated and the walls are so high who wants to have this home please let me know in the sh in the comments who wants to have this who is happy to have this with such a like should be kind of iconic family I don't know. I, I I don't know. It's something here. No, it's it's nothing there. I was just wondering. Then we go up the stairs one, and we have some bedrooms, I guess. 
let's start here with this corner. So we have this bedroom, a very dark bedroom, very tall walls. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to even say more about this. It's like, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. We have a bathroom and here a bedroom. Okay. The crest on the top. Okay. We have some lamps, chairs, nothing special. Here is to go inside of the bedroom. Okay. And here. What is this? Oh no. Can you can you see this? Why they made this? I prefer to have an empty room than have this. It's ridiculous. And we have a balcony, and I guess we have one more floor up. What do we have here? Okay, a little bit of more library. So we have like something not useful at all. Why we have this? Balcony, and what's going on here? Another bathroom. So you have a whole floor to have a bathroom. And nothing else. This is supposed to be what? A ballroom? Maybe? But this is supposed to be what? Why you did such a big house if you don't have clutter for it? I don't know. I, I don't have much to say about it. This is how we start. We're gonna try our best and let's dive into the renovation. It's really different and I hope you enjoy it. So let's dive into it and here we are in the renovation so i really really see a huge difference so we lost one floor because it was empty anyway so it was not necessary we have these dorms on the top of the home we have much fuller environment plants i even decide to give them a swimming pool they have the biggest slot here uh, and I think, why not? Why they shouldn't have a swimming pool? Uh, here is the entrance. It's beautiful. I love how this turned out. We still have a lot of like mixture of the windows. So different windows with the gold windows. But I think at the end they show uh, and they match pretty, pretty well. It's not like an outstanding uh, moment here. This is how it looks from the side. So we have a cauldron, a swimming pool, some planters. We will have a look at much more detail later. This is the side of the home. We have a little tower going on there. The tower is the only one who have three floors. I want it so the roof is a little bit lift and we have some funny uh, room upstairs. Uh, everything they seems neat. Uh, I, I cannot lie, it's like, it's beautiful compared to what it was before here we have a little bit of an outside area with some barbecue i use the balconies here on the back uh some sitting area we change majority of the shape of this home but not entirely so let's dive inside and see what have i done here so we have here on the entrance the fountain. The fountain was already here uh, in the previous home. Uh, and outside we have some seating. It's very open. It. Uh, I didn't want to close it. We have some gnomes to, to give some kind of mystic vibes. Uh, some planter box. We have a bunch of them. Uh, here the swimming pool so your sims can enjoy. Here we have a cauldron to be like the cauldron in the forest outside with another gnome in the corner just to bring a little bit of fun again here outside we have a chess table a woodworking table we have an easel some decorations to like pretend they produce their own wine or juices uh, and we have kind of a cellar outside with some tables and barbecue and now we jump inside. It's very simple, the outside, but I, th I think it's better. It's, it's just better. When we go inside with this door, we have a double stairwell going upstairs, very open. 
with the arch there. It's it, just this image is beautiful. They have so beautiful items uh, in this pack. They, I think they just don't know how to use them. So this is how it looked the entrance. We have similar windows in both sides. There on the top, a lot of light coming in here, some resting areas, some mix and match items. And then we have these columns we have in both sides to support the top floor, of course. And if we go here, we go through the kitchen. The kitchen is a little bit open. Here we have a television, kind of loungy area. I imagine the Sims because they are casting spells, making potions, brewing. Uh, they pass a lot of time in the kitchen. So that's why I decided to put uh, the television here. Uh, we have some uh, drawer here to match a little bit the black and white vibe going on here. Here is a door for the outside and here is the kitchen. I love how this kitchen turned out a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. It's so beautiful seeing from here the windows is like the perfect size to 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 have it here between the uh, balconies. It's like the counter, sorry, uh, and it's beautiful. We have some fruit, some uh, clutter, but not too much. It's, very functional uh, and your sims can have a lot of fun here. I love love how this turned out. So if we go to the second arch here is the dining room uh, together with the living room we have the chandelier It's very big but it works. So that was the objective here to bring kind of an excessive look. Uh, here we have a bar, a piano. The piano was just too full of space and here we have the living area and it looks so pretty. I love these beige tones with the greens and the woods. It's so, so pretty. The bookshelves, I love the bookshelves from uh, this pack. And here you have it. This is the living room for this new home. Uh, and then there we have a bathroom. So here I decided to pick a kind of I don't know how you call this color. For me, it's an old pink vibe, a more toned down pink. Like old pink is how we say it in Portuguese. I really don't know, like rustic pink, maybe. So we have all of that colors here. We have a full bathroom uh, if you need to use it. it, was just to use the space. But I'm really happy with the end result. Uh, and of course, I wanted to put these brown walls here to bring a kind of old vibe style, like cozy. When we go on the top, we have again this kind of balcony. We have one item and only one item and I decided to put it here because it matched pretty well from the cats and dogs and is not replaceable but uh, it, you don't lose much if you don't have this pack. So is this wallet with books? Uh, we will see them uh, in uh, other places but that is the only item from cats and dogs and all the rest is just base game and um, the magic realm world. Here we have the first room. This is the pink room. All of them will have in-suite bathrooms. Some of them bigger, some of them small. Uh, I see here it have disappeared the sink. Uh, not an issue. We just need to put it back. Uh, and here is the bedroom. It's much more light and we have a lot of clutter. I even get this like chest uh, to bring a little bit of magic to this place uh, and then if we go down here we have a loungy library area here is the soldiers I decided to put a lot of these frames here to bring a little bit of like oldness to this place here is for our matriarch of the home we have here this frame like her ancestors again the chest to bring some magic to this uh, house very yellow and uh, dark like black I love how this turned out it matched pretty pretty well uh, we have here a bookcase some high windows and then here we have a very light um, bathroom and I see all of the sinks had uh, disappear 
So please, when you place this, just use move objects on uh, if you place it because the sinks will get out. They just decided like, oh, I'm not leaving this moment. I'm out. And here we have the last bedroom, green bedroom uh, with a lot of clutter, books, everything you seems wanted. Uh, I, I really enjoy it how it turned out because it's such a simple transformation, but at the same time, such a huge difference. And here, because it's like the very new couple, I decided to put the bathtub uh, so they can enjoy some moments in the bathtub. You see the sink here is gone too. Um, and yes, let's dive into the kind of secret room, but it's not a secret. So to the last floor uh, and the last floor, we have this magnificent, magnificent magic room. Uh, here we have some kind of things they use to their experiments, like some frogs, some creatures. We have a lot of books for them to study, uh, frames, plants, everything you seems need. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love how this turned out. I love a lot how this turned out. And I hope you do it too. Please let me know what did you think about this home. So here you have it, another transformation, this time using Realm of Magic because we are in the spooky season and I love witches and all of that kind of creatures, vampires, witches. We will in the future uh, most likely work a little bit with the vampires expansion. I really, really looking forward to see the houses there. They are not so bad as this one. This one was really, really poorly done. The game get very up high in the vampires for at least the NPC homes. They are not so trashable as this one. The usability of the items and the ideas are much better than this. I really don't know what happened here. Let me know what do you think about this building. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy this video, to subscribe to the channel, to follow up this kind of challenge. It's not a challenge, but it's just a seasonal um, a seasonal festivity I want to bring to the channel with the Halloween and the autumn. I think it's really, really good. And thank you so much for watching. Um, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As I said before, it will really, really help uh, the channel to grow. And about me, I will see you all in the next one.